Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series that explores the physical science concepts found in skateboarding and BMX. In this video segment, Forces, you will learn about various types of forces, what they do, and how they help riders perform tricks and maneuvers, both on skateboards and on bikes. So let's get moving and go with Forces. A force is any push or pull, and can be a helpful force, as in the way the wind will push a sailboat forward on the water. It can also be a hindering force, such as when a salmon is trying to swim against the current in a river. Forces are used to change the motion of an object, and in skateboarding and BMX, the ability of a rider to control and affect the forces are what allow for cool tricks and ripping moves. Gravity is one force that riders must deal with at every turn. Gravity is the downward pull that objects exert on each other due to their masses. When gravity wins, the rider usually ends up on the ground. If the rider counters the gravitational force correctly, a trick can be successful. Gravity exists between any two objects, but the bigger the object, the more gravity it has. Because of this, the Earth has a large gravitational force, and people have a tiny force due to gravity. The force that opposes gravity, which exerts a downward pull, is an upward force called lift. A skateboarder catches air by overcoming gravity with lift. BMX riders can have a similar impact by overcoming gravity with lift, which can lead to incredible results. There you have it. Gravity exerts a downward force, and lift is the upward force that opposes the direction of gravity. The space shuttle uses a force of lift that is greater than the force of gravity in order to get into space.